My name is Laura Dippold. I am the Systems and Data Management Specialist and most recently the COES Ombudsman for the Research and Sponsor Programs Office. My work days range from helping out customers who are using the new Kowali COES system to uh, troubleshooting any bugs and then also working on our web content for our, our office website as well as doing answering any data calls that come into the research office about the, the sponsor programs and the research that we do. So I've always been interested in drawing and uh, doing artwork, painting, and sculpture ever since I was a kid. So it was pretty easy for me to fall into another artistic talent. Back in 2007, when I was up at Moss Landing Marine Labs, a couple of my coworkers and I decided to go to the Dickens Fair up in San Francisco. And my friend challenged us to actually create our costumes from the bottom up. I didn't like doing all the work for all of the whole structure of the costume, so I basically fell in love with hat making and I, that's what I wanted to stick with. So the ideas are varied. It can come from just about anything. It can come from me seeing something out in nature that I want to reproduce. Recently, I just saw a gorgeous photo of a hat where somebody had made a koi fish out of feathers and put that on there. I was like, man, that's that was something I didn't think of before, but now it's like anything is possible. You can make something from nature and put it on a hat. If I was going to do a blocked hat, it would basically take me a weekend to maybe two weekends maximum. It totally depends on what I'm making the hat out of because if it's going to be something that's going to be free form, that's a lot faster. But once you start adding in the time for hand sewing, you can speed things up with a sewing machine, of course. But you know, sometimes you, you're dealing with a lot of hard services that are difficult for the sewing machine to go through. And I will not tell you how many sewing needles I've had hit me in the glasses. So <laughs> as they have hit something hard. <laughs> I have hats that are actually made out of a wool capelin or basically a hood which is spun in wool. I also have hats out of straw, hats that are made of buckram which is a stiffened fabric. I think the most amazing hat that I have made is my Royal Ascot hat. It's one of my latest creations. I created that from the bottom up all by hand. I used some different materials which were new to me, so the thermoplastic called Foz Shape is what I use to make the bottom disc out of that actually sits on top of the person's head. And then the rest was flat blocked and then shaped by hand afterwards with, uh, as I applied the wire. And then I also made all of the flowers that were on it from scratch. It's a great artistic release. Um, if I'm frustrated about something, I can just go in and tinker. I will often uh, be working on, on a piece and not realize that it's dark outside and it's time to go to bed. So I really lose myself, I get in the zone. After hat making, I think I will continue going down the silk and leather flower road. I really enjoy doing those. They're a lot easier to make, a lot faster. But I do love being able to source my own products because it's hard to find high quality flowers at a reasonable rate. And so this way I can dye it to the color that matches the hat or the outfit that I need to match it to. And it's all custom so I can make it to the size and shape that I need as well. And so that's something I really want to keep going and to really hone my skills and, and do something in a larger variety.